Just to our south, hurricane season began with the calendar turning over to June this year. Scientists could be tasked with forecasting more named storms than ever before. Christian Benavides shows us how the hurricane hunters play a key role in that process. As a hurricane approaches landfall, the hurricane hunters approach it. Lieutenant Commander Joshua Rannenberg at the controls of this Lockheed P-3 Orion aircraft is one of them. It's humbling to see that plane get tossed around like a leaf in the wind. This team at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration helps meteorologists forecast where storms will go. They're gearing up for the most active hurricane season NOAA has ever forecasted. What we have uh, right above us is that tail Doppler radar. Richard Henning has been flying into storms since 1995. To get the very best data, the most accurate data, there is still no substitute for actually flying into it. These aircraft will follow the storm from the development stage until it makes landfall. They'll travel through the eye wall as many times as needed to get a 3D picture of the storm. What is this right here? This is our multi-mode radar, which is a radar that scans 360 degrees around the aircraft out to about 250 miles. Inside these the small cylinders two, are drop uh, sockets. And what do they tell you? They give us the wind speed and wind direction. They also measure pressure, air temperature, and humidity on the way down. New technology such as these Altia 600 drones are also on board, all providing critical real-time information as storms more rapidly intensify due to warming ocean waters. It's amazing how you can begin a flight with one storm and five hours later that hurricane is completely different. A team helping reduce danger while heading straight into it. Christian Benavides, CBS News, Lakeland, Florida. And NOAA expects 8 to 13 named storms this season will become hurricanes.